Yeah, so I'm looking for some installers expertise on the retainers for these big logos. So this is the north side. This one's 90 inches. Um, the south side will be 110. Uh, so we're going to have three inch metal retainers on the face. Um, so I'm going to break the retainers down like this. And so I'm looking to see if this works for you. So I got 2.75 on this side, three inch face, and we'll do a, a, a three quarter inch on this side. Um, what I'm wondering is how much room, how much um, contour space do we need? So I have that right up against like that. Um, do we want like maybe a 16th or so? Just don't want to run into I-10 Auto Body where the, the all the retainers were a little too big. I think we went an eighth on that and it kind of turned into a little bit of a debacle. So uh, keep in mind that, you know, that these will shrink a little bit. So if we do a 16th, we might lose some of that um, when we go to weld it together, especially on both sides here. But, um, and then also, so I'm going to break it into the four sets. Um, we can... We could make this permanent, lords it on there, make sure it's really strong. That way you'll always have that to support the face when you bring it in. Um, the face will obviously have to be hand cut, so we're not going to be able to get away with doing any kind of snazzy um, bolts like we usually do. Um, and we know that maybe a couple self-tappers, whatever you guys think, you know, might allow it to stay without start to warp in the sun. Um, also, your your thoughts on doing a tab here and then doing a face screw on this side to help secure those. Just live with a face a, a face screw there. I went three quarter on this to give you room for like a shorty screw if you if uh, if that's what you want to do there. Just let me know if that works to do a tab. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I'm just looking for maybe how much how much gap we want to how much we want to have bigger all the way around for you guys to have a little bit of breathing space. Um, so, all right.